Good afternoon everybody and Merry Christmas because that's when this video is going up even though it's Tuesday and welcome to the Christmas special yay this will be the last video for 2022 so let's start things off right with them Rudolf Kesk or Rudolf Cookies if you uh, prefer the language we speak in country. yes yeah, coming in from Little D and it's surprisingly these go out of date in July, so uh, yeah, they're good for a while. Almost good enough to eat. Da -da 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 -da. That's not the language we speak. Um, it's little. Let's just assume nothing in here is uh, weevilicious. Perhaps the packaging, which appears to have been invented by a lunatic. So yes, it's a biscuit with a big schnoz on. Wait with wait with cream filling. Oh, I see. Rudolph noses the cream. Oh, no. Mm. I mean, it just took me a while to swallow that because they're a bit dry. Well, they taste like milk. Is it milk biscuits? The ones with like a stupid drawing of a cow on them embedded into the design of the biscuit, the square ones. They taste like them. Our red stuff tastes like nothing. Well, continually. This one appears to have been marked for death by a sniper. He's going to have a very, very unmerry Christmas. What's next? I know. A lot of something from Asda, because uh, Asda and a lot of other places this year, Powerman Power included, where I didn't pick one up, have actually started doing much more free from stuff, which is a lot better. It's much more inclusive for people who are in, uh, intolerant of milk or gluten or anything along those lines. So, yeah, gluten and milk and egg free. But that doesn't mean you've got to replace whatever you've taken out with. Suedo Science from Planet Nipple, which uh, can be bad. <laughs> yes, it's little ginger man. Gingerbread man. Or should I say gingerbread people? I'll be uh, shot in the face by the internet. Yes, here they are. He's bald, so he's clearly a man. That's the knowledge you're getting with there. Ow. And now he's dead, because he's got no head. Very smooth, very nice. Now, aftertaste of strange ingredients that you used to replace the milk. They're genuinely quite nice. Once again, I think I should probably do a video about all this gluten-free stuff. I did plan on doing that many moons ago. But, um, half of it went out of date because it was during a time when the camera was broken and I got loads of other stuff to film. So, uh, yes. I know. You can't eat, but you probably could if you use your imagination. It's pencil. Let's uh, let's invade the stationery drawer. Um, as you can see here is an example of a sharpened pencil. That's what we're going for. Apparently, it doesn't want to be on show. Maybe it's camera shy. Aha. You know I had a sharpener in here somewhere. Let's just put all that uh, crap back in that drawer. Yes. So yes. Let's, uh, let's make a mess. Uh, we should have also something that I can uh, sprinkle the, the, the dust into. Oh wow. Looks like starting an old car. This isn't going very well. I'm starting to think this is more a novelty item. Yeah, it's refusing to be sharpened. Mm. Yes. I don't think you're going to have much luck with this as a pencil. Nearly there. Dee 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 dee. Oh, 
There we go. Pencil. A five. <laughs> I'll just put that uh, pencil dust over there. So yeah, oh, it's not very sharp. But um, a few problems with this. It's only got rubber on the end of it, which is um, a pet peeve. But over time, this is going to become a bit of a faff to hold when it gets to like there. And surprisingly, it goes through to that end too. So you could have like the world's stupidest pencil. I don't understand the logic behind this um, wooden creation. All I know is that there's some trees missing now to, for its creation, which um, angers me very slightly. I know. Uh, no, I don't know. Let's un Christmasify the room even more with something that I've seen absolutely everywhere. The snowman and the snow dog, coconut logs. I've seen these absolutely everywhere. I'm under the assumption that they made a million to billion of these and now they're having to sell them off for next to nothing. Oh, oh no. mm, there's a the sound of dust. Mallow, glucose, fructose, syrup, sugar, water, beef, gelatin, natural flavouring, white chocolate flavoured coating. Oh dear, that looks like it's going to be as much fun as being punched repeatedly in the head by Eddie Hall. I was trying to do these taxis. So yes, we've got a, um, that certainly is a log. How? Hmm. They're actually not quite bad. But that is more, my, more of my bias towards coconut, because I do like coconut. I do like bounties. Yeah. Shoot me if you must. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. I'll probably eat them at some point. For I am. And fat man. So, uh So we continue. And we'll continue to something that I've just thought that I won't be able to do. Ow! It's the lights. Yes, it's some set decoration. And unfortunately, I've sat down in a room with it. With it. None of the things I need to operate these. They're in a lovely knot. So, uh, once again, let's all just sit in silence whilst I lose my temper with these. Uh, is it going to be an easy one to undo? They never are. I'll be very surprised. Get the battery holder through there. Like so, then get it back through this way, like that, then unravel and ne ooh, nearly, nearly in one, and bang! There we go. Don't they look pretty and hard to see? Anyone to think it's because there's no batteries in them? Uh, right. Unfortunately, at work, we've had a lot of these brought back. And I've discovered that the uh, box knives we get given at work... I've got this desk off kilter today. The box knives we get given at work actually can be used to take the screws out without breaking the knife. If you can get a good grip on them, Larry. I think, that, I think this desk might be due for replacement, since it appears to have developed a list. Come on, don't let me down. <sighs> what happens if I twist it the wrong, the uh, right way? I'm starting to think that maybe the uh, cross, the crux of the issue. Oh, you know what? <sighs> there you go. Pretty sure I did that last year. I have no time or patience for problem solving. Yep, and they work without this lid. Darkness. Yay! Don't they look pretty?
Anyone feeling the Christmas spirit yet? What's that? None of you? Anyone now temporarily blind? What's that? All of you? The pencils really do throw off the Christmas spirit. But, let us now watch and laugh in fury at this. My nose. Oh dear. It's not just one gingerbread house, it's multiple, in theory. So, inside of this we get a skludge of splodge, something, something, and something. That's nice. Let's see if we can build one in record time. We need a brush flat surface though. Wow, the actual box it came in, that might be fucking work, you know. No, no, no. It's semi sturdy enough for my needs. So, so they're not they're not pre broke, that's nice, so you have to Maybe better off off the box. This might be harder for you to see. So, uh, hmm. this isn't how you build a house, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Oh no, you got to chop the. F oh my god. I'll never find that bit of plastic ever again. Such is life. Have I made the hole big enough? Now, I'm just eating some of the uh, icing and it tastes like shit. I think it might actually be building material. Right, so. For God's sake. Great for kit building and cookie decoration, it says. Me arse is what I say. Yes, I am going to use the table as a foundation. Shut up. Did it? Set. About there. In line with this dot. This is the world's stupidest cookie kit I've ever built. Let's uh, apply some more goo to the table. This is going to be fun to clean up in a minute. Oh, God damn it. I've mismeasured. Immediately to be sacked from the building raid. Let's just squirt as much on as possible. Put that there. Like, I'm starting to think this uh, would be better off. Like that. And like that. Yep. And the front wall. Yeah. I see. I see. It's not really structurally safe, this house. Now to um, the roof. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, thanks, I'm going to go on that side. Stay. Stay. I'll find that. Ta-da! It's a, it's a bit more structurally stable than anything the council plans on building in the near future. And I trust it more than a Taylor Wimpy home. So yeah. Grr. I am the scissor monster. I will clink and I will chop and I will nibble your house down. Ha 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 ha. 
Now we go. That's the uh, latest evil character in my development. It's Mr. Evil Scissor Bastard. So yeah, let's taste the uh, cookie. Whilst the, I'll taste this bit of war. That's supposed to be a bit of war. Oh fucking hell! Hmm. And I'll taste the icing. Just to get rid of the taste of that gingerbread. Mm. It's icy. What's not to like? Yes, I may have. Um, Inadvertently created a small problem here. Not just the mess, but the sticky table. There we go. All better. Now then, what next? I know. Let's have it. The only three I could pick up at the time. <laughs> From Lidl, we have Santa. From Poundland, we have Santa. From Asda, we have Santa that's been in a tumble dryer on the wrong settings. So, yeah. God just knows. I hate winter. That is the uh, Santa that Asda did. Uh, what hey? Quality of a quantity. Mm. Let's try it. Littles. It still looks like Santa. Sort of. Looks like a garden gnome. Sorry, Santa. It's just a. It's just a deal. Oh, I'm, oh, you, you, your legs have fell off. That's very unfortunate. Poor Santa. Mm. Yeah, slightly milkier advent kind of chocolate again. Now let's try Poundland. Will it have a face? Will it look like a knob? Only one way to find out. Yes. Oh, and the foil stuck on it. This year we have a Santa with a face. What are you fucking looking at? Nothing, mate. But uh, someone stole your skin. Fuck. Again, the uh, Santas do appear to um, quite easily lose the legs. There we go. Oh, better. I'll uh, put you out of your misery. Hmm. I may have took a bit too much of a bite with that. <clears throat> there we go, but yes. That Poundland one is much better than the little one, surprisingly. A lot milkier. A lot thicker, too. Let's try it out of the... Have they given me a face? They have! And his beard looks like... Some worms. Now I'll remember nobody's address because I bit his head off. Mm. A lot smoother. Yeah, I'm going to give it to the Poundland one. How remarkable. next 
on the agenda. I know. Some glass. Well, yes, it's just what we need at Christmas time. Something to hurt little fingers. Mm. Oh dear. For those of you that haven't been able to tell from the uh, constant snorting, I am in fact slightly flued up. Oh, we can't make them out. Uh, yep. So we've got sugar, glucose, fructose syrup, and invert sugar syrup, eh? Wheat, wheat flour, corn starch, vegetables, fat, coconut, and E120, E1471. <laughs> and we're partridge in a pear tree. So yes, it's little bricks, isn't it? Are they soft? Are they hard? A bit of both. Oh yeah, no, 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 they're, 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 they're soft. I thought they were going to be rock. Oh, God, we've got them wrong. Yeah, they taste just like those um, red vine sort of things that Haribo do. Was it the strawberry pen? Yeah, strawberry pencils. So as in, they actually taste like um, scientific strawberry. If you know what I mean. No actual strawberry, but your brain tells you strawberry because it's red. But by consuming these, I'm on the nice list, which is always nice. Whatever the next. I know. It's a must not. Let's decorate this set even more. It's just what it fucking means, isn't it? That's, um, extricate some foil. Move the uh, Santa graveyard out the way. Oh, that tree's got some sidens. Oh god, that one's even worse. Yeah, they're tiny trees. I don't know what you'd use them for unless you were making a nativity set. And in which case, I don't really think the encouragement, the inclusion of Christmas trees works well. What with uh, Christmas trees not being native to the deserts of um, wherever Santa's from, that the American seems to think is Texas, but with a funny hat on. What's next? Merry Dinky. Alright, I can see what you're going for there, but you have unfortunately failed spectacularly. So yes, these are from Poundland. When you might be able to make the contents out of these. Uh, we've got some glucose, some tater starch, some uh, flav flavorings of carrot, blackcurrant, radish and apple. Yeah, so that sounds Christmassy, doesn't it? But yeah. So you do these all year round, little dinky dogs. And um, apparently this one's Christmas now. That's nice. Ooh. Those are them foamy, weird foam sweets. Like foam bananas, but... Mm. Ooh. Oh, it just turns to slime in your mouth. I'm about to swallow that one very quickly. Mm. And the flavour was piss for gore, I'm afraid. So, yeah, that's nice. Let's just put that over there. And I'll uh, pretend they don't exist. I'm good at doing that. In fact, for eating them. I deserve an award. It's a chocolate medal. Santa, nice list approved. Approval not required. But yes, it's... Give over. It's a cheap thing of thing attached to some chocolate. That's nice. Look at how much we're enjoying it. It's just a boggo standard pattern. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Cracky. That's a bit better for kids. Ooh. Yep, that's, that's winning at worst chocolate so far. And that's saying something. Yeah, that... Even below the uh, little chocolate and um, 
And in fact, the gluten-free chocolate tasted better, and the gluten-free chocolate's got everything you need to make chocolate in it. What's next? I know. But now it's not Rudolph's uh, cousin that needs an MOT. Spray on snow. <laughs> now, whisking end horribly. So, we're just going to spray a little bit on here and hope for the best because I'm not wrecking the double glazing because it's bay windows in the room that I'm in and uh, they cost three and a half thousand pounds each. Yeah, that's certainly snow and that uh, instant filler. Oh, and now it smells. The love of God! <sighs> well, it certainly looks like it's snowed, or that I've sneezed. Oh dear. Oh, uh, now you can see why I didn't want to spray this. No. No. You go away and think about what you did. So yeah, that's instant snow. Holds its shape. So that's one nice thing you can say. Sure, I'm glad I kept this wipe on hand. There we go. I shall no wonder one. I shall uh, wonder why the radiator smells funny later. It's because it's got instant foam on it. In fact, it's on the bloody wall. Oh no, not the tree, the tree over. And the radiator's on, so it will indefinitely smell. Lovely. Oh no, Christmas is ruined. The trees have fallen down. There we go. Life restored. What's next? <laughs> Snurred. Candy spoons, because apparently candy canes have uh, fallen out of fashion. These were in home bargains, and I had to loop through all of them to find a decent set, because most of them were broken. And also, they've been put in here with 18,000 pieces of sellotape and some concrete. Yeah, it's a dear spoon. <clears throat> what more do you want now? me in. There's no need for such RC packaging design on anything like this. Yep, let's find a solid one. It's quite a um, Minecraft spoon. We ain't got much dimension there. Let us lick the spoon. <laughs> mm. Yep, that's peppermint. E one seventeen E one two nine peppermint flavour. Well, I suppose the occasional E number's good for you. Oh yeah, back to my old habits. It's something on a stick. Because heaven forbid we don't review something. Do you mind, Mr. Tripod, on a stick? Even the tripod wants out of this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, oh yeah, that looks yummerific, the um, all of the ingredients are in Spanish, that's a strange one, uh, just for this let's eat Santa's head, ow, what the fuck, hmm, that's not, Yeah, it's like, it's like chewing a pencil over. Mm. Yick. Mm. I don't know how much I paid for this abomination of um, Angry Penguin and uh, Brain Damaged Santa. But uh, yeah, that's not worth it. Not in a million years. Mm. And the fake snow appears to be coming back onto the desk, which doesn't make the slightest lick of sense. Get off my desk. Off it, I say, off it. Yeah. Go on then, what's next? It's, uh, oh, yeah, from Poundland, it's yet the return of their stupid gonk shit. 
with this fella oh and some uh, some ingredients we can actually read that's a lot of e numbers oh boy so we've got sugar glucose syrup water beef gelatin dextrose that, that I can't pronounce modified cornstarch e100 e120 e141 e153 e113 133 even Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Our little belly's going to be bouncing off the ceiling. Until the ceiling breaks. Oh. Out your misery. So, yeah, it's, um... Oh, how yeah, Peter have uh, broken his hat. Such a shame. It smells like vanilla, as do all of these shit mallow things. Look at the back of it! Ugh! It's like a scab! Yeah! Mm. Oh! Shine a light! Oh god! Ugh! Ugh! I think I'd rather eat a fucking scab! Ugh! Fucking now. Ho ho fuck off. That's my new uh, song for Christmas. What's next? I know. Let's ask Dead Santa. Someone's put Santa in there. Oh, and Santa's gone. So yeah, what the fuck's this? Someone's done the done the astronaut thing for Santa Claus the wrong way round. Um, yeah, he's he's dead. That's water in there, and that uh, I can only imagine that white stuff is his vomit. Has he choked to death? Maybe. Yeah, that's a pleasant visual for you all. Sit there, dead Santa. His eye is it? Pupils have turned to two dots. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say Santa's dead. Santa is in fact very dead, but don't worry, we've got this man, he'll save us, in theory. It's a tiny tin, uh, where the, uh, ah there we go, it's full of gingerbread man, I don't really have to explain that to you, it's a gingerbread shaped man. Gingerbread biscuits, fortified wheat flour, oil, vegetable, calcium carbonate. Nothing too scary. But uh, this tin was, I think, 90p somewhere along there. And you know what? For years, I've got loads of drawing pins that keep my Christmas decorations up. And uh, they live in an old headphone box that's uh, falling to bits. I'm going to put all my drawing pins in this. And they've got some form of um, safe place to be in. A bit of sellotape around that and they won't fall out and I won't stand on them again. Let's, let's try the um, gingerbread... New villain from Doctor Who. The god that looks menacing. Oh. Patient swearing thin. Let's give him a sniff. Yep, smells like cheap gingerbread, man. I'm going to decapitate this one for the safety of everybody else. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get onto your grand, they'd never be able to get his fucking false teeth through it. Hmm. Yep. It's true, I don't actually like gingerbread man. Gingerbread men, even, or what, oh, whatever you want to call them now. That actually tastes quite nice. The ginger isn't overpowering. It's a nice crunchy, crunchy biscuit once you get your teeth into it. Oh dear. Oh, now what's next? Let's do something we've never done before. No oh, bollocks. It's, for, it's two for the price of one. It's two mutants attached to a stick. It's Santa and his penguin friend. Yeah, joined together at the hip. Mm. Oh. This nose of mine really is making it hard to do this video, but we must progress. Chocolate contains cocoa solids and this is a lot of things. E476. Ding, 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 ding. We got one. Oh, this one's already a bit open. No. Oh, uh, I've, oh I've, well, uh, there we go. Oops. Nom, 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 nom.
Yep. Once again, I'm going to put that in the same tier as the Poundland Santa. Actually, not too bad. What's next on the culinary agenda? I know, we've got a face off here. Once more, we've got... Yeah. And, uh, hmm, hang on, uh, I can't tell. Poundland and Home Bargains, I don't know which one's which, um, I, I think that one's Poundland. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Poundland. These are supposed to be turkeys. Yeah. You can sort of tell, maybe, kind of. And apparently they've got a cream filling. They have. Um, oh, not much fucking cream filling in that, is it? Mm. Um, nom, nom. Mm. That's actually quite pleasant. Yeah. That, that is actually quite a nice cream filling. It's decent chocolate. I'm going to say it's a bit above their own Santa Claus. Yeah, that's alright. Stocking filler. Now let's try these. These are... Milk chocolate snowman. Not even white chocolate. God, what? Oh. What the? F what the fuck are you? For everybody else's safety. Hmm. Hmm. They're not lacking that. That's quite bitter. Mm. Yeah, that's unpleasantly bitter. Oh, what else is in the back? That's nothing. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Someone's drowned Santa. The chocolate Santas are of the same quality. Don't buy Poundland's gonks. And um, have a Merry Christmas. I will see you all in 2023. Unless Putin decides that Christmas Day is the day that he launches the nukes and we're all fucked. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It may be the last thing you can do. Ooh.